Hmm. Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Well, something happened. Fix the resolution of BS laggy. Sometimes it does lag when I use my native resolution. Hopefully, when I go back into Arc, it OBS and Arc will play nice. I don't know yet. I was trying to record a a vlog, and I finally got it to well, it looks good instead of these crazy resolutions. Good a minute info. Yay. Now that that is out of the way, so what is this new thing that happened? Well, besides the fixing of OBS resolution to record easier, I noticed an energy shift out of the blue. What? Well, that has no been not been a use your words. Stop jumbling. Ugh. Have there been any fighting of me being attacked? Mm. Spend two days, no fights. So that's good, and maybe that is why the new energy shift that appeared out of the blue happened. What in the world do I mean? The only way to describe it is this warmth that surrounded me and I felt very good. Whereas from before I felt like, well, crap. Like, I one day I did not want to record at all but earlier that day I was wanting to and something came up and I got very depressed hit a wall did not want to record whatsoever uh, maybe I got a you know at that point well, was like you're doing the same thing over and over and over again and you hit a wall and you're like, I don't want to do it anymore, but you push yourself past that point. Maybe that is what happened and I got re-energized into YouTube. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. Uh, or, here's a thought, maybe it has something to do with the end of October, the end of Halloween, and into the next season, uh, month. Maybe something, a portal closed, and I felt that, I don't know. I do know is I am a sensitive person who picks up on energies. Believe me. If I don't know what's going on, it's something crazy to do with frequencies, vibrations, unknown entities, unknown spirits, maybe the graveyard, I don't know. But it has to be something that is secretly affecting you. But yes, ever since, I don't know. I, I feel better, that's all I know, and it's good that I feel better, and working towards the uh, spirit blog again, um, no new words came up since uh, my last uh, photo text matches that I made on Instagram. Uh, beyond that, uh, nothing new has come up except for that random I feel good energy shift and hopefully it will continue but chances are probably not because I dread the holidays. 
because of my stupid family. You're born into it. You don't pick. Oh, wait. You're so agreed to everything. Mind blown. But, yeah. Um, it's crazy how you, you just notice things, see things, feel things on a different level, on a deeper level, whatever it is. Mind opened. But yeah, uh, so it's actually really good. Um, it's probably, probably because I have been, once again, openly sharing my life stories with all you people who watch and support me. Maybe somehow your energy positive is uplifting me secretly because I don't know it could be a thing I mean I keep saying that uh, people say you've helped uh, this person by sending energy to I don't know if that is even a thing is it possible I don't know for me I have to know who it is that is sending me their energy that is positive because if I don't know you and you're a demonic person I don't want that energy affecting me oh sir you're trying to do this one good deed however you turn the cheek and you do something cr crazy I don't know I'm just saying it could be possible because I don't trust Christian souls at all. I cannot get along with them. I don't prefer their energy touching me. I go ballistic and by ballistic I literally mean go crazy and not in a good way. Like anger, rage, see red, get the heck away from me. Don't you dare come at me with this go to Jesus, save your soul, blah, blah, blah. No, no. I don't want your energy near me. Anyone who believes in the Bible, I, we don't get along. They are sheep. I'm a lion. I'm a wolf. I'm a leader. They are nothing more than a follower who follows the crowd mindlessly. You see why I don't trust that whole strangers sending you energy and you never met them and that could make things worse because you don't know who that energy is from. All you know is, okay, I put this post up, hey, hey guys, send me energy because I feel sick. But you get all these strangers commenting saying heal and you never met them you don't know who they are trust me that could be bad maybe I'm just a negative Nancy whatever that means I've heard that uh, no I, I'm just very 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 overly conscious of my energy and who is sending me their energy for all I know, it could be an, an energy vampire feeding on me because I posted that, hey, send me energy because I am sick or whatever. It could be disastrous, but that's just how I think. People, on the other hand, don't really see that side. That's why I'm here and showing those stories. But since I, I do talk with some of my subscribers, I know I, I speak with three people and they are very positive. The rest I never met, so hmm. But it could, it could be those three people that are impacting me positively, I don't know. But I do know this, I was uh, watching 
a new subscriber that I just tuned into and maybe he inspired me to to come back and get energized for YouTube again. I don't know. It, it, it says positive impact. I don't know how it just happened. I don't know. I don't know. It was good. It was good. So th that is the key thing. Positive impact from watching a fan and I get into the work and we in we exchange positive feedback. And it's like, oh, I said something about sync is a sync in sync because I was thinking it in the back of my mind and then I see they uploaded a video with that title I was thinking about in the back of my mind for a long time and it's like boom and I said something he he responded and it was uh then I said something about well if you feel like that then I also feel it like we're both doing good work or improving or whatever it was Oh, on the right path. That's what it was. He said that, and I was like, well, then, if you feel like that, then I feel it too. Like, because we, we just c click, connect. The positive growth, positive feedback loop. Awesome. Um, but yeah, maybe he somehow re energized me to, to push forward again. Or maybe it's because. I watched this other YouTuber who didn't, he left uh, YouTube for like a month or so because, okay, I'm just going to do the, what she said. One, she broke up with her boyfriend who she met in high school. They were together for four years, did not, they, both of them said they it was not working out, so they left, and they both agreed on it. They left it at that, which is a uh, not a real answer, I would say, because what type of answer is that? Like, oh, it's not working out. Let's split. What type of answer is that? Like, uh, for me, it was kind of doesn't make sense. I guess it would be a deeper meaning that they don't understand or do not want to disclose to the world. But for me, if it wasn't working out, I would say exactly why. Like, oh, this guy is a narcissist person who feeds on your energy and makes up stories that doesn't exist. So I had to cut it off. That would be my answer, but just yeah whatever so that was like the first thing and then something about she lost all her friends or key friends I used to say I don't know she didn't really explain all I heard was friend loss that's it so she said well if I was going to make YouTube video then it wouldn't be good because I was not myself? I don't know. As he said, I had to come back into me. Come back to me. I don't know what that means. Uh, said, so, yeah, uh, I guess she had to find herself again, calm down, bring it all together, and then do YouTube, and uh, it would be better because her mind is in a better place. I, I don't know, but maybe that's what was going on with me because I felt I don't, uh, I don't know it's just I don't know I, I lost track it lost sight of the purpose of my channel maybe then again I always struggle with the or organic blogs but well not really struggle it's more like how can you keep it on one subject 
only without going into details about your personal struggles, your personal accomplishments. How can you not say that? So that's kind of what it was instead of, oh, let's just write from a higher source, record everything, and then read only that. I, I, I can't. I have to mix it up. And I guess I lost sight of that and had to go back to the beginning of my website uh, blogging and make PowerPoint presentations on that to get the flow going again. Because you're here for the light, not just the dark. Because I'm a seed, we have to have sunlight and rain and darkness and that's how we grow. So it's all good. It's all good. Uh, but th that's just what's going in my head right now is maybe I need a co-host. Never gonna happen because they'll too camera shy or microphone shy or they don't want to. One guy just didn't answer and we had a fallen out and yeah. The others were too camera shy and then we stopped talking. I, I think it was, yeah, it, it's whatever. Uh, co-host doesn't really, the only way to do a co-host thing is to get a uh, uh, brain. The only way to do it is like a D and D type thing, like a a LARP type thing, except it's about light worker choices. There's the five D way, the four D way, and the three D way. <laughs> So it's like those like three sources or something, or maybe four, and and do it like a D and D role play type thing. Don't know how that would go. A uh, way I can maybe do that in my cartoon machinima with my wild characters, except do my voice act. I never voice acted anything before. The only what thing I've done is changed my pitch to really high, sound like a chipmunk, or really low. But that's with audacity. That's not doing it with your own vocals. Uh, so voice acting might not be my thing. I don't know what will happen, but that's kind of what, what my thoughts are right now. Um, again, do what you love, get good charisma, get better, get more professional, and oh, how can you be a professional light worker when you're always dealing with darkness and stupid people? No, really, that's kind of the thing. I don't know. I'm an inspiration to others who good. But yeah, uh, we need to go back to the roots, start start reading uh, spirit blogs, maybe more magic books again. Mm, I should probably finish the Book of the Law. I should. Mm, probably not. Because it no longer... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I... Maybe I should read the Emerald tablets because that makes more sense than anything right now but yeah it, it's all good all good hmm I think that's everything that I need to just Gus, um, again, just a live journal notation type <laughs> video once more, and there's more sun glow. Uh, good. I think that's gonna be everything. 
uh, for this video. I thank you for your time and until we meet again. And there goes the encode and overloaded methods. Let me check my CPU. Huh, it's only at 64. Okay, whatever.